Evaluating Sources It's important to evaluate the sources you find as you're searching to make sure you're using the best information. Search engines, databases, and catalogs only give you links to information that contain your search terms. They don't know that you need information suitable for a 10-page paper or a 5-minute presentation. They also don't know what your level of understanding of the topic is, so it's up to you to make sure the information you find is right for your needs. Here's a strategy you can use to determine whether something is good for your research. It's called the CRAAP test, with two A's. Each letter stands for something to consider. The CRAAP test originated at the Merriam Library, California State University, Chico, California. The C stands for currency. How recent or current is the information you found? Does your research require current information or is older information needed? If you're looking at a website, do all the links work? R refers to relevance. Does the information you found really relate to your topic? Is it presented at a level that makes sense to you and that is appropriate for your research? How does this information compare to other information you've located? Is it better, more thorough? Would you feel comfortable basing your project on this information? The first A stands for authority. Who created and published the information? What makes the author an expert on the topic? Does he or she have advanced degrees in the field? Does the author work for an organization that researches the topic? Can you contact the authors or those behind the information? Are there email addresses and or phone numbers? The second A is for accuracy. What is the actual source of the information? Is it from the author's original research or is it repackaged from elsewhere? Does the information make sense in relation to other information you have on the topic? Is there a bibliography that provides evidence to back up the information? Has the information been reviewed by other experts in the field? And are there typos or grammatical errors? The P refers to the purpose of the information. Why was the information created or published? What were the author's goals? Is the information provided meant to sell something, change an opinion, or is it intended to inform and educate? Does the information have a bias? Is it an opinion? Or is it objective? If you aren't certain whether a source really passes the CRAAP test, you can ask your professor or a librarian for verification. 